Welcome back. Hey, I finally get to join these guys over here. I feel like I've been disconnected, although interviewing coaches has been a lot of fun. Welcome back to the postseason selection show, and we're taking a look at, we'll, we'll, we want to bounce back to Wapak here in just a second. We'll take a look at the Finley District here in Division 4, and, you know, it's it's a pretty competitive matchup here. We've got uh, a lot of BVC action here. You know, Riverdale uh, lost a tough game to Macomb this past week, but they're able to get the bye, and they'll take on the winner of Arcadia and Lipsick. Both have been pretty uh, tough matchups, and then over uh, uh, Patrick Henry getting the winner of Arlington Van Lue. There's some, some pretty intriguing matchups. In well, the interesting shot. thing about this is here's Arlington at 14 and four, the best record in this particular bracket, and they chose to play right away coming out of the game against Van Lue, and then of course the, we'll eventually match up with Patrick Henry and perhaps Riverdale out the way. What are your thoughts on Arcadia and Lipsick? Well, it's an interesting matchup because it's a conference game. Lipsick's a kind of a physical basketball team, and when they're healthy, they're good. I would look at Lipsick to win that one. Then you've got another BVC matchup with Riverdale coming up. So a lot of BVC teams in this bracket, plus Patrick Henry at the top. Over on the other half of that, and more that uh, factors into some of our local area teams, you've got Pandora Gilboa. If we could pull that graphic up or pull that bracket up, Pandora Gilboa getting the bye. Also, Columbus Grove getting the bye. They'll take on the winner of Cor uh, Corey Rawson and North Baltimore. And Columbus Grove has really just had a terrific season overall. Not really, a lot of people expected them to be leading Crestview this late into the season. You see the bracket right there, but they have a chance to win the Northwest Conference and the, their seeding they have, I think, shows that. Well, here's Columbus Grove, here's PG, and of course they match up in the Putnam County League. And Columbus Grove had a one point win in the regular season. Grove, of course, playing very, very well. They're dominated by sophomore players, but they've got enough senior experience to step in there and help them out as well. Probably going to see those two match up again when they get out to, to the district semifinals out here. But that's a really good matchup. And Grove is playing very well right now. PG with that great experience that they had from a year ago. Graduated a lot of key players, but having a good successful season too. And Columbus Grove just has an outstanding basketball program this season. Even your, their guys and their girls, you know, Kenzie King and Riley Seibert over there. They've just really done a great job at bringing up talent throughout the last four years. Columbus Grove has been solid all season long. And of course, a lot of these matchups, really all the matchups that we have, you can see on WOSN, WTLW will bring you all kinds of matchups in the postseason. A lot of the brackets will start coming alive here in a couple weeks, and you can tune in here and catch all of it. We're going to take another break and come right back. We're going to go back to the Wapak bracket and revisit some of the matchups there. Some really good basketball action there. Not that we haven't seen it in all the other brackets. We'll be right back. This is the postseason show on WOSN.